President Trump this week condemning left-wing activists for the protest against Justice Kavanaugh, calling them an angry mob. Congresswoman Maxine Waters is firing back, saying that is exactly, actually, the president who's violent. This president is the poster boy uh, for what a mob uh, protester looks like. He is, a matter of fact, he's the one who has been violent in his speech. We don't have that kind of talk that has come from the women who are protesting. Well, our next guest is actually running against Congresswoman Maxine Waters, yep. Republican California congressional candidate. Omar Navarro joins us now. Omar, thanks for being here Good this morning. morning. First of all, I think our viewers probably want to know what's it like to run against, uh, run against her, Maxine Waters? Well, you know, when I first started running, everybody was telling me it's going to be an uphill battle. It's going to be tough. You're not going to be able to fundraise, be able to do a lot of things. But in actuality, I've been doing the opposite of that. I've been actually accepted well in my community. A lot of people are happy that I'm running. Uh, they see that Maxine Waters is not offering solutions to the table. We're not talking about mental health. We're not talking about human trafficking. We're not talking about jobs or the economy in our district. And these are things that are concerns to the people. And when, when someone sees someone that's not offering something to the plate, they get tired of it. What is she talking about then? It, it, just uh, how she wants to impeach or uh, well, that, yeah. that the president's well, racist? Around, I mean, what, what is her, her message? Well, she's going around through this whole impeach tour, and she really is not offering any solutions. And that's the problem. You know, when you have someone in office for over 27 years, has only passed three bills. I mean, I was two years old when she, when I, she was first elected to Congress. And, she, you know, it shows the inefficiency in government. That's why we need po term limits. She's the poster person for term limits. And, Omar, when she talks about the president promoting violence, I thought, and correct me if I'm wrong, I thought... It was Maxine Waters who was out there just a few weeks ago saying, go after the cabinet members. Don't let them shop. Don't let them eat at a restaurant. She seemed to be inciting not, not people. Not only that, not yeah. only she's... Not, not only is she saying to go after the cabinet members, she's also saying to incite violence against the supporters of the president. And this is wrong. You shouldn't be advocating for violence. We have to bring a, a unity uh, message back into our communities. And Maxine Waters is not offering anything better. She's just offering a lot of lip service, no solutions to any problems that are really going on. Uh, we have to, at the end of the day, we have to work with the president. We can't work against his interest. And the only way to get the job done is to work with him. Omar, and I think that, that's what we got to get back what to. What do you hear from voters when you talk about them being rep representative at Maxine Waters all these years, and what's the response you're getting? Look, a lot of people in my district don't even know who Maxine Waters is. Uh, when I go around, I talk to people going door to door. I make phone calls. Uh, I'm, I'm, I was very surprised, to be honest with you, getting the message. And a lot of people are very receptive over me, and they're happy that I'm running. Uh, they don't even know that Maxine Waters is representing them. They, all they see her is on TV giving lip service, but at the end of the day, they don't see solutions. They don't see uh, in effectiveness in Congress. They see ineffectiveness, and we need to bring back balance. All right. I Go ahead. Just curious, are you going to get to debate her at all? <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, that's that's a great question. You know, Maxine Waters. You know, if she, if she wants to debate and and go after the issues and actually talk about the problems, she says that she's a strong black woman. But I see a weak black woman because she's unwilling to debate the issues with this Latino that she at an event actually recently, wow. uh, not too long ago, where she had 13 millennials. Uh, she called me out and said that I was uh, not Latino because I'm Cuban, right. but actually I'm Look, half Mexican. You know, I, I'm half I'll Cuban. tell you one thing. We We've made a, a point of it, and I'll say it again. We like to stay away from the identity politics. This should be about the issue. So if you, sir, can run on the economy, and you can debate her on the economy, and you can debate her on the issues that matter to your voters, you're in business. All right. Thanks Omar for joining Navarro, us. thanks for coming in. We've invited uh, Congresswoman Waters on. We hope she uh, accepts that Appreciate invite it. soon. All yeah. right.